Okay, I'm going to show you iSpy, which is a fantastic app. Um, you need to be connected to the internet, but what it does is it shows you CCTV cameras from across the world um, in lots of interesting places. It's the application here, you can see it. It says it's called iSpy, and it's a black background with a white silhouette of a CCTV camera with a red dot in the middle. And if we press that, I'll just spin it around the right way, and you can see it's gone off to the internet. Um, and if you look down the bottom of the screen here you can see that highlighted at the moment we've got random so these are random CCTV cameras from around the world okay so we can go in here and have a look at Budapest in Hungary and we get a picture of Budapest in Hungary there we can go and look at Devon and Somerset gliders gliding club I see some interesting stuff on there Let's see where else in the world we can go. We can go to Italy. I'm sure the kids would love that on a hot day like today. Um, water park. Uh, we can go to Hungary on there. We've got Japan on there. Um, we've got Maine, Tucson. We've got Rome, um, Spain. If I just flick my finger across the screen. Um, you've got Sweden, Germany, lots and lots of different places. So we've got a beach in Spain here, and that should uh, resolution should improve on that. And there you go. It's moving about a bit at the moment. I tell you what, it looks quite windy there, doesn't it? So I think it must be moving the flagpole that our camera's on. So we'll leave the Durango in Spain. Um, and let's see what else we've got on here. So just lots and lots of different places. So we've got Edinburgh. That looks like it's going to be the castle there. So you've got Edinburgh Castle, a live picture of Edinburgh Castle with the nice blue sky above it. So that's random and you can just keep flicking through there and see what you find. Um, you've got top rated, so just click on the next one along. Icon along the bottom of the screen there. Top rated, um, people like these storks in Switzerland. Um, you can see them there moving around. It's a great picture, nice resolution. Um, if I keep moving along the bottom here, you've got uh, most recent, so you can have a look. And uh, if you looked at something recently, and uh, you want to find it again, you can click most recent. Favorites, you can mark any camera you're on as a favorite. So you can see I've got some favorites in there. You've got a search where you can search for keywords, categories, countries, states, city. Um, and the bottom option there is PTZ, is called Pan Tilt Zoom, which means you can actually control the cameras yourself. So if you click yes on that, it will show you cameras that you can control. But for instance, if I click on the blue arrow next to countries, I get a list of countries on the right hand side. And I go in here and let's look at Canada and click search. And these are all the CCTV cameras in Canada. And it looks like it's. Uh, quite early in the morning, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning in Canada. I can go back to search and I can search for somewhere else. Search for Germany and it will show me the CCTV cameras in Germany. Lots of CCTV cameras in Germany. And we've got more stalks um, in Germany there. Let's have a look at this screen. So when you go into um, the actual camera you've got a rate button in the bottom left hand corner and you can click on that and you can just rate that from 1 to 5 and that helps people to find the high rated content. Um, in the center of the screen at the bottom you've got the name of the camera so this is Stork Cam Germany. I'm not sure if you'll be able to make that out on your screen. Um, and just above that I've got a button which is my camera roll button and basically when I press this it will take a picture um, of whatever's on screen and put it into my camera roll so I can use that um, in other applications or print it out or email it to myself. I'm going to press that and you'll see a little message appear, save to camera roll in the middle of the screen. So I've now captured that image and you can see um, in the bottom right hand corner that I've got a heart and a button there and it's blue already so this means this is one of my favorites already. So if I click on that it will take it off my favorites click on it again and it's added back into my favorites so if you're setting up a lesson that's a good way of getting um, some of the cameras preset so you can jump straight to them rather than having to search them and it's really as simple as that you can search for anywhere um, in the world uh, and you might find somewhere so if you want the Bering Straits in Alaska if you want to look at some 
uh, landscapes in Japan or anywhere in the world you can just jump in and out um, and see if you can find somewhere and you do this before your lesson or if the students have got um, iPads they can have access to and they're doing a specific project they can go in and they can search for images and it means that they're taking the picture so when they click that camera roll button at the bottom of the screen that's them taking that picture at that specific time that's not them googling an image and copying it down it's them taking that picture at the same time and you can see this there's a camera here in um, Salzburg and you can see there's a new button in the top right hand corner called control um, and if you click on that I can actually move the camera so if I drag the camera my um, finger from bottom to top of the screen the camera will pan down and you can see it's panned down there and if I wanted to look over to the um, left I'll go left to right and I've panned over to the left so some of these cameras you can actually control so the students can compose their own images um, and then press the camera roll button see I've zoomed in there with a normal pinch and I've zoomed in a bit further and then I can click my camera roll button and I've saved that image to camera roll that I've chosen in Salzburg so it's a really great quick application you can jump into and capture your own image um, and I think it's just uh, fantastic and that is I spy cameras